for Hibs. As Shunsky Nakamura over the far side, ready to swing this one out with his right foot. Nobody seems to be running onto it. It's headed in and it's saved. McDonald's sends it into the net. A great day for the first piece from Salatoski, but Scott Donald, the striker's instinct inside the six yard box, he prods it home. And inside three minutes, it's Celtic 1, Hibernian 0. No. What a wonderful start there for Scott McDonald. And I think that's where he needs a goal. He's been working so hard for the team. But he always looks like he needs a goal and he wants a goal. He's desperate to score. Celtic's top will score last season. And he already put Celtic 1 0 up. In fact, done it so quickly that from Craig hadn't he managed to get to his seat. And Hibernian and Shell shocked as Neil Lennon standing on the edge of the tackle area and just circled the, the gesture to say to Celtic, hold on to the ball. So an encouraging start for Celtic, but it's Hibernian with Riordan sliding challenge for out, patrolling the area. Everyone else is packed into the six yard boxes. A ball brought, and then again, it's another header. The ball's in the net! And it's Stephen McManus, the captain, looked like a game of ball. Eventually it broke to the cannon. He sees Fritz at home. We've got just under nine minutes here. And already it's Celtic 2. A billion nil. Of Shambok at the back, to be honest. Just a, a slip cross into the middle. And, you know, they did not clear it at all. And then as Bok said, it ricocheted backwards and forwards. But uh, eventually Stephen Mann got a foot to it. And this could go on because they're getting put now. Look at the way they're lining up. Just now they have one, two, three. They have six players back and fence, and uh, two coming back from the field to help them as well, leaving one man up front. So you're giving the ball all the time to the opposition, in this case Celtic. This is going to be one of those afternoons we're going to have a field day. Well, they played this tactic at, at uh, Easter Road, and to be fair, it had uh, worked to great effect, although Celtic lined up in a similar formation as Scott McDonald's McDonald's rugby tackle to the ground there. Surely that must be... Well, I think that must be a booking because... It was a rugby tackle, McGeady cuts inside, takes a shot, it's low, it's saved! It bounces clear only as far as Neil Neil crosses into the box, very good at link. McGeady, low, just over the bar, almost 3 now. Celtic on fire, hits all over the place. Listen to the crowd, it's unbelievable. It's like uh, one of those shooting galleries at <laughs> the fair, isn't it, you know? I mean, there's no opposition in the present well, I, I tell you, McGeady from what, eight yards out would have been disappointed they hadn't kept that one down. 3 0, and I think he could have been looking at a cricket score by half time. Hibs are all over the place, Jim. Well, I don't think you're looking at a cricket score by half time because, uh, you know, Hibs can't get to offer, to be honest at all. But uh, a burning free kick on his left hand side, chance for Derek Harden to deliver it to the box. Arthur Boric stands at the edge of the six yard box, which is played towards him. And it's a header, it's a simple goal. Uh, the keep comes for it, the defender goes back for it. It dropped in between the two of them, and we'll need to see it again, but uh, it looks so. It might have been a keeper's ball. Um, defenders don't like going back in there because they're having to head the ball and going back the way. And, well, I would be expecting a goalkeeper at that height to come and get it. It's on the edge of the six-yard box. Well, I think the thing must be concerning for the manager is lost. Some really simple goals from free kick last weekend, and I'm sure, I'm, I'm absolutely sure, the manager would have spent all week working on that. The first free kick that comes into the box, and we lose another goal. Well, he's quite disgusted. I know it's Neil Lennon's walked round for a chat for the manager as well, and uh, that's how they get a free there. kick. Hey, well, that could be famous last words as Shunsky Nakamura delivers this one into the box, and Celtic score. He called it six yard box again, and Jones again heads it clear, putting it down to the fact that Zamatowski's just new, and maybe the communication's not there with his uh, central defence. Crossass fires it into the edge of the box. Oh. Very good at Hesling. Oh, he's it! Oh, he's hit it wide when he should have scored. And a stake too by uh, Kevin Tico, who was headed up backwards. Well, very good at Hesling. Given the opportunity. It was good technique to chest it down there. And just volleyed that one. The goalkeeper was rooted to the spot. We'll see it better from Sango James from behind the goal. Oh, he should have scored that. I don't think it was too far away, mind you, but... Well, he'll be disappointed, the big Dutch are well, it has to be said. Fires it. Oh, and it's tipped over the bar there by Samatoki. I think it was dipped under the crossbar. Uh, but uh, Samatoki just decided to fire it over the crossbar anyway to go on the safe side. Another former Celtic sixth of the first half. Well, it's going to be a corner into the box again. Shinsuke Nakamura chips it. Ah, it's headed out by Jones, picked up by Naylor. Naylor fires it left-footed. Good ball there from Naylor to Nakamura. 
just cushions it down to McGeady, just needs a cross into the box. McGeady, still McGeady, he's inside the box. Spins round, chips it in. Jones heads it up into there, another wonderful spin from McGeady. Just couldn't find a Celtic man. Any thoughts in the first half? I mean, comments at CelticFC.com. Jim and David will be in the studio at half time. What do you think of the Celtic start? And certainly they come for the blocks. Finding, score two goals inside the first nine minutes. Kick, it forced the Polish goalkeeper into a spectacular save. I think this is maybe more his angle where he can fire it over towards the left hand post. Nakamura plays it across and it's saved again by Samotowski. Brown is the first to react. He's looking for the corner. Thought he would have maybe tried to chip it in. Still Brown, there's two players around him. Goes for the instruction. Nakamura is inside the box. It's a sliding challenge and it's another corner kick. Celtic with their ninth corner with about 20 seconds left. Nakamura stands over it. I've make, made it well almost over the minute. The ball played into the box. And I think that's going to be the last action. It's been a very entertaining first half for Celtic, although I can't quite believe that Celtic are only leading by a goal here. Started off fantastically well. Scott McDonald after three minutes, the ball was headed forward, saved by Zamatos, but Scott McDonald was there and made the six yard box. Poons the stab at home. And just six minutes later, from another corner kick on the far side. Stephen McManus, the ball bouncing about inside the box and Stephen Manis fired at home at that point. The hips were sixes and sins and it looked as if Celtic would go on to score it well. But on 16 minutes, the old failing of not being able to fend a free kick came to the fore. Derek Rarden fired it in and there was Rob Jones just to glance into the empty net. Frustration for Celtic. Continue to dominate throughout the game. They should be leading by more. But a half Celtic, of course, returned towards the traditional Celtic end and currently leading by two goals to one. And certainly if we can have a opening 10 minutes of the second spell the same as that was happened in the first half then we'll be quite happy because it'll mean Celtic will be 4-1 up the burning team this afternoon Z Zamatowski in goals and Zarto Boric clears that one it's not the most convincing of clearances and eventually Krosas fires it into the centre circle where it's hit the problem is the ball switched to the left hand side towards Riordan Riordan tries to play it across looking for Nish Nish got a chance Oh, he should have hit it before now. He's allowed City to block that one. Should have been back maybe to Ryden, who's waiting on the other flank foot. He blocked him, you know, and Ryden quite annoyed. He just had to cut inside. He it. did, yeah, but I think he, the time he did that, he did it slow, slowly. That the space kind of blocked for him. Well, I think you're seeing the frustration sometimes of, you know, when we get it to the ball, nobody coming helping him for this game because they're giving away a lot. And I think that this is one for Shinsuke Nakamura to... Well, shoot. <laughs> oh, that's a foul, that's a, well, it's a foul or a penalty, that's got to be a foul, that's an absolute disgrace. Well, that's the worst decision so far, that was a definite attempt at a tackle and he missed. No, no, that's a that's well, awful decision. You have to say, that that is an awful decision. well, the referee was obviously, he must have thought he was in the box, he didn't want to give the penalty, that is an absolute shambles of a decision. Well, to deliver this ball into the box on the far side, Derek Byrden will swing the ball in, fires it to the six yard box, it comes off the top of Greg Caldwell's head, it's knocked back by Colin Nish to Fico, Stephen Fico, first time into the box, looked like an offside, Gary Caldwell again to Byrden, Byrden side foots it, oh, almost took a deflection off Gary Caldwell, but smothered by Arta Boric, he throws it out to McGeady, Celtic on the attack, McGeady cuts inside, Bamba, he's brought down, surely that must be a booking, well, if I want to get a booking for that, well, Surely he was going to book for the first one. Yeah, the but that just uh, compounded it. Go <laughs> we'll see that. Nakamura on the halfway line. Moves forward. He's got Scott Brown ahead of him. Chips it forward. Looking for Brown. Brown tracked back by Rankin. Still Brown. He's inside the box. Needs a good ball. Back to McDonald. He's the it. That's the ball. The Chief Celtic go four points clear at the top of SPL. It's Scott Brown. Provider shrugged off the challenge of John Rank and played it at Christie Scott McDonald, who sidehooked it into the roof of the net. Celtic 3. A billion 1. Yeah, no more than Celtic deserve.